Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play the Catacomb Apocalypse 3D. And when last we left off, we're searching for keys. Four keys to open access to a special gate. And it is this gate that we're trying to get through. We have found uh, the way towards two of the, um, the keys. The uh, place where android mages reside, and a place full of fire and mechs that tried to blow us up. And some uh, demons that I'm not sure if they're uh, based around aliens, or if they're based around robots. But now we're in a sewer level, because these games always seem to have a sewer level, and this one has these uh, massive entities that live beneath the water that try to bite you. And there is one here that was being very, very sneaky, and trying to stay far away from me, so it can try and bite us. They hurt quite a lot, attack really quickly, and don't stay above the water for very long. They like to get very close before they attack. But they are now defeated, so we can go and explore this apparently hidden pool that is not really that well hidden at all. I imagine this level is only going to have these submerged enemies that we're going to have to uh, fight in very, very large quantities. And since we have all of the gems, we don't need to worry about finding any more gems whatsoever. I don't think this... Uh, level is particularly liked by the game either, because it takes a long time to, uh, sometimes there are areas where it would take a long time to turn around, because the game doesn't like something about the level. So the sooner we get off this level, the better off we'll be, and the more likely we are that something terrible won't happen. The last thing I want is for the game to do something like crash, because sometimes this game will do that. All right, there you are. You didn't actually get hit by many of those, so we're going to be uh, very, very quick in uh, making sure we can deal with you. There we go, you have been dealt with, and was there anything over there that was worth finding? The answer is a resounding uh, no. No, there was not. So we are going to save, because if I'm worried that something's going to happen to the game, saving is a very, very good idea. Hello, Mr. Enemy, would you like a zapper to everything? You are already dead, which is really, really good. And here are more of these enemies, right here, that we most certainly want to deal with right now, and use an exterminator completely, um, worthlessly, by missing. Also, they really like, um, they really like doing that, which is, uh, moving when you're not looking at them and trying to attack you, which is really, really bad. But fortunately, they are both dead, and I imagine, yep, that is a secret area that leads to even more of these enemies, which I can most certainly attack with large amounts of zappers, and be very, very careful about trying to defeat. And the game crashed right there when I was trying to go round that corner, which is very, very awkward, and hopefully it won't keep doing that, because the last thing I want the game to do is be in a situation where I can't complete it. I did think that there would be something wrong with this area, and I was in fact vindicated. And we need to be very, very careful when going around this corner, clearly, because there's something about it it really, really doesn't like. So we're going to have to be exceptionally cautious. And by exceptionally cautious, I mean we need to get round this corner and face the enemy that lies beyond, and try our best not to backtrack too much. Alright, there is an enemy there, and that enemy has been defeated. And there is another enemy even further along. We need to be uh, very careful, as there are two enemies, not one. And the other enemy is not yet able to be damaged. There we go. Have you been defeated? No, but we most certainly are going to go past you now and attack you from this angle. See, it's the walls there. If you can see there's a, a small, like, um, a line where you can see through it, it might be the game trying to... Uh, do something with those walls, but either way, we are now here, which leads to this area, which I imagine we're going to have to be very careful about. Very, very careful. I think it's time for some, uh, uh oh, I think I might have unleashed a few more enemies than I'd anticipated. A lot more enemies. I think it most certainly is time for some exterminators, and being very, very careful, because there is a small line of enemies coming my way and I don't want to backtrack too much, at all. So we're going to use a copious amount of zappers here. 
just to deal with all the enemies that are going to come our way. All of the enemies. It's going to be dangerous, but we most certainly need to do that. Also, a cure potion here will certainly not go amiss, because we want to uh, make progress here rather than be pushed backwards, and I think we've managed to get past all of them. There is a key here, which is good. There weren't many secret um, areas, or I just simply didn't find them. But either way, we've managed to get through this area, and the sooner we get out of here, the better off we'll be. So I'm going to save before the game decides to crash even more than it already has. Alright, now that we're past here, we want to move on to the final area, which is over here. The uh, ancient node of the Time Lords. Maybe it'll take us to the first game! <laughs> I don't think it will. However, there appears to be, uh, ooh, some old enemies. You know those demons there? They look very reminiscent of demons we've seen before. Because they are reminiscent of demons we've seen before. From the very first game. Alright. We can deal with those demons, though. We've dealt with them many a time before. I imagine we're going to need that key. Also, we're going to need to have to uh, zap this open and deal with the inevitable amount of uh, demons that come through. Hello! You're a blast from the past, indeed! And the area that we're currently in is exceptionally reminiscent of a region in the second game. We'll just blow up all of these, I think. The last thing I want to do is uh, backtrack into any of them. Also, a cure potion here will most certainly not go amiss. Hello, Mr. Demon! You indeed melt into goo, just like you did before. Is there anything else that we need to do? I imagine we need to, uh, the wizard's conjuring room. They've probably been conjuring up these demons, just to try and defeat us, but they cannot defeat us! At least not as easy as, as they uh, think that they can defeat us. In fact, I was so focused on attacking there that I garbled up my words on saying easily. That's how easily you can garble your words. Also, look at these treasure chests! They're just like the original ones! They're even the same colour. Alright, let's go over here and see if we can uh, open the way here. We didn't even need a key for that, but we do need to uh, deal with this area full of demons. Hello, how are you? At least you're not two-headed red demons. That would have been awkward. Alright, anything else here? More demons? More wizards? But no demons just yet, unless there's one right behind me that I haven't noticed, and I don't think there is. We used a red key, which is handy. Here is a uh, passageway already! I think we might have already found the way we want to go. But there are a lot of demons here, and we need to be very, very careful. Very careful indeed! And this demon is dead. The other demons, however, are not dead. As I think there was another one. Was there another one? Yes, there was! One more! Hello! And we were getting attacked by one of the wizards there. Carefully we move forward, or rather backwards. Moving backwards to move forwards! The new walking! Hello! You are dead now. And there is a key here. We now have one of every kind of key that we need to get through to that other area. But there are more enemies here that we are going to fight, because I imagine there is some loot for us to go and get. What about around here? There is another one of those gates, and over here is a large amount of enemies with seemingly nothing to show for our efforts of fighting them. But fight them we shall! Because why not? The worst thing that could happen is that we'll die absolutely horribly. Let's hope we don't die absolutely horribly. Also, there is nothing here whatsoever that would uh, tell us that there is a secret or anything else. Alright, over here is... Um, there are some wizards, and there are some demons behind um, those uh, barriers that we still don't want to walk through at all. Anything here, though? You know what? There's nothing here at all! Just lots of enemies. Any enemies around here? There is one. And that enemy is pretty much by itself, apart from that one there, that we need to be very, very careful of, and also we need to uh, use a cure potion. 
We need to defeat these barriers so that we can destroy these demons, so that we can find that there's probably nothing down here that we actually want to get. But it's worth doing, just so that we can uh, see if there was anything. Hello, Mr. Demon. You are about to perish. Melt into goo! And melt into goo, the demon did. Also, why are there electrical barriers in the ancient past? Maybe we're in Lemuria! Or maybe there's just lots... Ah, there is some loot here. That is most certainly worth our efforts of uh, blowing up these gates and being very, very careful. Hello, Mr. Demon. How are you? I'd rather be zapping you than zapping electrical barriers. And I'd rather you turn into goo any time you like. There was fine. Thank you. Anything else here? There are these barriers that I need to be very careful about. This is the Demon's Keep. It's certainly a lot better than the area full of fire that they previously had a few games ago. There are a lot of demons there, and a key that I don't know that we need. But hey, why not we grab it anyway? It can't hurt. The worst thing we can do is be holding on to a uh, red key that we don't need. Also, using a lot of zappers here seems like a good idea. And eventually I imagine an exterminator or two. Like now. Now might be a really good time, yep, for an exterminator. And I think now we can move through here. Once we've destroyed this barrier so that we uh, don't accidentally step into that, and grab a completely superfluous key, unless there's something that I've missed, and I don't think there is. Hmm. There are no secret walls or anything like that, it doesn't seem like there are. These areas appear very, very, um, devoid of them. And here is the uh, Chamber of the Time Gate, which appears to just have the Time Gate in it. I wonder why we need this key. And there was this area here, and the area that we, uh, started in, which has nothing. There aren't even any doors. I really wonder what this key is used for. Something tells me it has a purpose, but... I don't see it. Oh well, looks like we'll just be carrying a key around as an effective souvenir. Let's go through the time gate! A new challenge awaits you. Well, actually, no, it really doesn't, because uh, we're back here. We want to go uh, this way and find the uh, obvious uh, secret door. And be very, very careful when it comes to opening this door, because we don't want to do this wrong. We certainly don't want to do this wrong. Let's hope there isn't a nemesis behind this. A red key, okay. Then a yellow key. And then nothing for a while. Oh, then a green key. And this is an old door. And then a blue key, which leads to the transcendent time gate. Let's go, shall we? I have no idea what we're going to be doing here. Let's find out. Ah! The front portico to the wizard's maze, and I have no idea why these en- Hello! It's trolls with helmets and clubs. We need to be very, very careful of them and move past them very quickly. They are quite fast, though. You indeed now have helmets, but this will not save you, as there also appears to be enemies that are zapping us with, uh, You guys hurt, though. You hurt a lot more than you used to. Also, it is time to uh, use some cure magic there, and be very, very careful that we don't accidentally blow up any of that treasure that's there. This is a very, very dangerous area, and I might have accidentally blown up all of that treasure, which is a pity. But I'd rather be alive than uh, have treasure. Here is the uh, treasure chamber of the Maze Keeper. We'll grab all this treasure. Maybe this is what I was mistaking as the uh, treasure. But hey, treasure's always nice, and not surprisingly, you don't explode. Also, we're back here, in the place at the beginning of the game, with lightning and the graveyard motif. Um, the red key cannot be used here, which is uh, not surprising, as I imagine that red key had a purpose that I've completely and totally um, ignored or bypassed. Alright, what is in here? Ah, there are these. We need to be very, very careful of these, because they hurt quite a lot. Need to be very careful indeed. 
How many of them are there? The answer is there is probably going to be a lot of them. Probably every time we go the wrong way. Oops, accidentally blew that up. A little too quick on attacking, and we lost the loot. And there was absolutely nothing else there, so there was no reason to go that way whatsoever. Ah well, Everhale has plenty more ammunition where that came from. He does not have plenty more ammunition where that came from. What about over here? We'll be a lot more careful this time. Ah, we'll be a lot more careful this time. That is a lot more loot than last time. Hello, Mr. Wizards. You are now dead, and Miss Loot is mine! Excellent. There is a lot of loot there. You'll also notice that I do not have a lot of cure potions. That said, I didn't really need a lot before, but hey. Maybe we might need them this time around. Alright, what's down here? There is one of these uh, orb things again. And an area here that I imagine, yep, leads to absolutely nothing. The orb thing appears to be mapping everything out, and uh, I need to be very careful of that, as my first instinct is that those are enemies I need to be very, very careful to uh, avoid. And there is apparently nothing in here at all. Not even- ooh, there is something here. What is over here? Maybe this is a secret area, full of secret loot. Or it's not, and I've gone completely the wrong way. It could be that. It could be anything. But I wouldn't be surprised if the- hello! If the game decided to hide the exit to this place behind a secret area. They do indeed hurt to those enemies. They hurt a lot. Is there anything in here? Nope, there appears to be nothing in here, but there is a, uh, area over here that I was backtracking into, and one of these orb things that I've just blown up. Anything here? Let's find out, shall we? There is... there is a breeze behind this wall, too. Hmm. Maybe I'm slowly figuring out this maze, or maybe I'm just getting hopelessly lost, but hey, one of them is true, and I imagine it is the other one. Anything in here? The answer is a resounding... no. Nothing in there at all. And there appears to be no sort of, uh, hidden passageways this way. All there, in fact. Hmm. Maybe I am well and truly lost. Nope, no, I appear to have found a new area I haven't been to yet, because there is a nemesis head to say hello, in the way that nemesis heads can only say hi, through trying to kill me. They're like, hello, I'm a head of nemesis, and I'm like, nice to meet you. What's your name? My name is I'm going to blast you with lots of magic missiles. And there is an enemy that is uh, very, very close to us indeed. In fact, is probably just around this corner. Hello, you are this way. Yes, yes you are. I'm going to try and kill you as quickly as I possibly can, and you are now dead. Excellent. Here is a key. I get the feeling I needed to find that key. At least I hope I need to find that key, otherwise doing all of this is going to be a little bit pointless. And then you never needed to find the key. You probably did need to find the key. Unless we're slowly accumulating keys that are- aha! More loot! Loot is fine, however, I really need to find the way out of here rather than loot. I get the feeling I might need to backtrack a little. Also, destroying those orb things might have been a horrible, horrible mistake. And then, it was not a horrible mistake, and Everhale managed to triumph despite the odds. Or he got lost forever. That is also an option that we need to be very, very careful of. What we need to do, I think, is we need to backtrack quite a bit, until we find- ah, there's another one of those orb things! Which means we are getting very, very close to, uh, a passage behind a wall, indeed. We need to go, uh, I think, the other way. Or at least backtrack a bit. There is a corpse that we, uh, previously discovered. There is an enemy nearby, too, so we are in an area that we haven't necessarily explored properly, which is always nice. 
Hello, Mr. Enemy. Are you round this corner? I think you are. And there is only loot around this corner, it would seem. But loot is still good. Excellent. We'll grab that. And we'll grab this here, too. Brilliant. And now we shall move over here and explore further. Get lost more. Maybe we'll even find our way out of here. <laughs> of course we're not going to find our way out of here. We're going to get hopelessly lost. Forever. Or maybe we won't. Maybe somehow we'll figure out the solution to everything or stumble across the exit. That is also a possibility. And when we come back, folks, we have two ways to go and only one way we should go. The only problem is I have no idea which way that is. And so I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later. Which way do we go? Everhill clearly has no idea. Look at his confused face. Later.